Hey guys, Luke here from 4Gamers and I'm coming at you with another command block tutorial. This Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to have your very own pets in Minecraft. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking. Hey, I already have pets. I mean, I have cats and dogs, but I'm going to show you how you can have any mob as a pet. So let's get right to it. Alright, so in order to do this, you're going to have to first get a command block. So I'm going to give myself a command block. So I'm going to do uh, slash give at player command underscore block and give me a command block so with this I'm what I'm first gonna start off with is I'm gonna start off um, with commands that allow me to actually summon my uh, summon my uh, pet and um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually be using an invisible dog and this invisible dog is then gonna be attached to any mob you want and it'll become your pet so it'll follow you around go wherever you go and it's really cool because the mobs will also interact with other mobs you encounter so let's say you have I don't know, an uh, iron golem, it'll go and attack um, mobs if they attack you. So um, I am just going to be copy pasting some commands I did earlier and I'll leave them in the description. And uh, you'll have to change a few of them in order to make them compatible with your game. But this is for Minecraft 1.8 so it'll work just fine. So the first command, what it will do is it gives you a wolf and actually it's a tamed wolf. So uh, you have to, this is super important right here, it says player name here just change this when you put it into the first command block. Change it to your name, mine's Hydrone003. So I'm gonna put this in. And what it does is it spawns a silent uh, tame dog that's invulnerable so it won't get killed if it goes somewhere random. And its custom name is Invisodog. So that's important because it's gonna get, then name Invisodog's gonna be like a tag so you can keep track of it. And um, yeah, so that's the first part. So you're gonna have an invisible dog. And the second uh, command block, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in uh, another command. Now, uh, this one will summon the mob that you want to be your pet. So, with this one, if you want an iron golem to follow you around, you'd be villager golem. But I'm just going to change it to a villager. So I'll have villager pet following me around. Custom name pet. If you want it to be a different name, just change this name. But keep in mind, if you change the name from pet to something else like Steve or something, you'll have to change everything else that has the name pet to Steve. So I'm just going to leave it as pet for now. So this will also be invulnerable and it has an active effect on it that slows it down for a very, very long time. So this way um, you're, the mob won't be pulling around the dog and instead you'll just, the dog will be in control. So I'm going to put this on top and put a little uh, button right here. So when I press this button, it's going to spawn, it's going to spawn my pet. And right now you can see the two of them together. But uh, currently, if you notice, they're both separated. And the reason why it's doing this is because I haven't linked them together yet. So what I have to do is I have to make, uh, I have to make a redstone clock. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to make one that is refreshing constantly. So this one, it's uh, kind of messy. Uh, what it does is it sets down a block of a uh, redstone. And so it's going to keep on setting down a redstone block and then destroying it. And so if you put a redstone block next to it, it's going to constantly spill out redstone blocks and go on and off and send a redstone current, redstone signal. So in order to counteract this, where it's going to leave a lot of blocks around on the ground, and that'll slow down your game, just put in a command right next to it that says kill at entity type item. So instead of leaving a ton of redstone blocks around, it'll just kill it. So whoops, I'm going to have to go on this side instead. And yeah, so you see how it's throwing all those out. I'm actually going to put this on this side right here and uh, put kill at enemy. So if you guys noticed, it got rid of the redstone blocks. So what I'm going to do from here is I am going to put a redstone current that's going to connect up to uh, some command blocks. And these command blocks will actually link our dog and our villager. So this first one, what we're going to do is we're going to put in teleport, teleport, the pet, the entity with the name pet to the entity Invisodog. So when it does this, it's gonna teleport them together. So if, you, oops. So if you notice, they are attached. So <laughs> the villager is riding on top of your dog. So, but when the dog is invisible, all you'll see is just the villager running around. So this next command is actually gonna be, um, this next command is for the invisible dog and it makes him invisible 
and it's gonna make it so when he is invisible with this um, 14 is invisibility um, it's gonna make it so there are no particle effects coming out of him so that that's the, why you don't do active effects so do this now you have invisible dog and you just have a pet that'll follow you around but what I want to do is I also want to have it so that the pet will be slow I'll slow down the pet or the villager in this case so that he will not be running around so I'm gonna give him slowness 2 um, with um, multi multiplied by 7 so he's not gonna be running around only your dog will be in control so let's put this in so now when I walk around the pet will follow me and come up to me because it's your dog following you around but it's actually your pet so you can change to whatever mob you like and um, this last command block right here it's just gonna put in a command that'll make it so that your uh, dog also slows down a little bit so it doesn't start clipping so that way it'll be a little bit smoother so when your dog follows you around and actually your pet it kind of is more fluid more smooth so now look have a pet villager come over here come on it's okay yeah so it's gonna work so you can change that to whatever you want but an important thing is to get rid of this you also have to make a despawn so I'm gonna put that in real fast show you guys how to do that so to despawn your pet I'm just gonna put in a couple commands you're gonna teleport it and then after you teleport it it is gonna it's gonna kill them unfortunately but you won't see this you'll just um, see it in a little tag so if you don't want your pet to follow you around all you have to do is just press this press a little button that I'm gonna connect up so I'm gonna put redstone on top then put a little button right here and so I'm just gonna despawn so he's gone but I want a new one so I'm just gonna bring him back so now I have a pet villager to follow me wherever I want to go and um, this pet villager what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna despawn him and I'm actually gonna change it to something else I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you that it's kinda cool you can change him whoops this is the wolf I'm gonna change it to the villager golem just so you guys can see how it looks so because this is pretty cool having a golem following you around have this golem following me around and uh, let's see I'm gonna get myself a weapon and I'm gonna spawn uh, let's spawn something like a, a spider a cave spider that's probably probably good enough all right so I'm gonna spawn this spider right here and when I attack him well come back here your iron golem will go and chase him down and kill him for you so you can have your very own bodyguard so your pet can actually do something for you so and you can change this to any mob you want now you can change it to something like a zombie too so if I change this to zombie um, yeah any basically any mob in the game that you can summon can be your pet so I could change this to zombie but he'll follow me around but if you're in survival mode he will attack you so any violent mobs it, you have to be wary because they will attack you so I suggest only using passive but yeah you can do anything um even let's have a pet pig get rid of the zombie and yeah here's my pet pig and so yeah that's that's about it um I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys find it useful and uh, tune in for more Redstone tutorials um, coming up. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.